to another episode of the Dividend Journey here on Financial Friends. Today we have an exciting episode. Uh, this is episode two, and we have a, f- a brand new position in the portfolio. So I'm super excited to unveil that. But first, uh, a little bit of shout outs and maintenance. Um, first things first, go check all the links below in the description. Those are to the podcast, to my Twitter, to my TikTok, to the Instagram. Um, and I may or may not have the public account or portfolio down there as well. So please go sure, please be sure to go ahead and check those out. Um, also, I want to mention that I made a mistake this week, as investors do. I was not thinking. I had added twenty dollars to the Fidelity portfolio instead of ten, which is fine. I mentioned that that may or may not happen. However, majority of those funds were supposed to go towards our new investment. The other half of those funds were supposed to go towards an existing investment. Rather, I split 15 of them up um, into three investments that were already in the portfolio and added one new position with $5. So I added $5 to Johnson & Johnson, Realty Income Corp, or O, and SCHD. In all three of those, the cost basis was lowered, which is a good thing. So we lowered the average price that we have paid for those positions, which I am excited about. Um, And we went ahead and added a new stock that I will unveil here in a second. Our annual income is up to $1.55, and that will be able to be shown in the dividend tracker as well as the new position. So we will slide this out of the way and go ahead and check that out. As you can see, portfolio is now up to $70. We have a yield on cost of 2.23%, dividend yield of 2.21%, an annual income of two. It rounds it up, so it really is a $1.55 there. I went ahead and added the annual incomes up for us. And as you can see, waste management is our new position here within the portfolio so that is super exciting something that uh, i'm excited about and i have some statistics and some other things to go over regarding that this is um during the day here that i'm recording this so you can see the change in these positions the profit and loss we have profited on all of them thus far which is exciting so i have a few sticky notes here uh, with some notes that i took on my my research and waste management, and I'm gonna go over those. I will pull up the Yahoo Finance. Not all of the information was tracked from Yahoo Finance. I did a lot of different research, just searching up what I was looking for online, and I used the metrics from JJ Buckner, so I may or may not link his down below. I don't really think I'd be giving him a boost. Uh, he's a bit more subscribers than I do, both on his personal account and on his dividend account as well. But the payout ratio of Waste management was 47.35%. And so we're looking for a range there um, of below about 60%. I'm actually going to grab my iPad here and pull up the different statistics and kind of what we are looking for. So I went ahead and I'll try and find that video as well for everyone else. It's a fantastic video and I will link that below. It goes over everything that you should or could be looking for in dividend stocks. And I use this personally, and I feel that it has helped a ton with my research. So move that there. We are looking for below uh, 60% there. In terms of revenue, I'm sorry, of of dividend growth, we have shown 18 years of dividend growth with waste management, which is fantastic. Um, That is something that you're looking for when investing in a dividend stock. We've also had 7.05% five-year growth of the dividend rate. So it has grown consistently um, and it has grown, I would assume, with inflation. However, I'm not 100% sure the exact metrics of what inflation has looked like. Free cash flow is back on track. When when doing my research, there was a little bit of lack there in free cash flow, but it looks like they're continuing to generate um, good free cash flow. And, you know, in my notes here, like it mentions, free cash flow can be used for dividends, reinvesting into the company, acquisitions, share buybacks. So you want the company to have free cash flow or else you're not getting dividends. It is a little bit pricey. Um, The price to earnings was 38.66. And you're normally looking for about 20 to 25 um, on average. 
stocks are around 15. That is the market average as well. Um, but you can overlook that when you're looking at other factors that have to do with the company. And again, it's all personal preference and feel. So if you feel that a company is going to be a good investment, regardless of statistics, then make that investment. However, you just have to kind of be, um, analyze your risk there, analyze what the upside is and, and what the downside is as well. The current ratio uh, dropped below one, but it is historically bounced around that. And the current ratio is the total assets over the total liabilities. So it kind of shows their ability to pay back any debt they may owe. So one would mean they have just as much assets as they have liabilities. Something above a one means they have more assets than liabilities. And so um, it did just drop below one, which means they have more liabilities than assets. However, I'm not completely worried about that because they've had around a one since about 2006. Also want to mention the net debt to EBITDA, which is the um, their net debt, so the amount of debt that the company has. Um, and then EBITDA is the earnings before interest, taxes, depreciation, and amortization. So all of those things can be used to kind of make the company look better um, than they actually are. And so the earnings before all of the interest and taxes and things like that um, is going to be more of like a true picture. That's my personal understanding of it. That's the way that I've kind of looked at it. If that's incorrect, make sure to comment in, comment in the uh, comment section and correct me because uh, I'm learning along with you guys. Again, this is not financial advice. So, um, But you're looking for nothing higher than a three. That's what JJ goes over in his video. And we have a 2.4 here with waste management. You also want to look at shares outstanding. So how many shares of the company are out there for people to purchase? If that's continuing to grow, that means that the company is continuing to try and raise more capital so that they can continue to invest in other companies, in themselves, whatever it may be. So when you're looking for a solid dividend stock, you want to make sure that either the shares outstanding have stayed the same or maybe the company is buying back shares and those shares um, outstanding are decreasing um, and the shares outstanding are decreasing here for waste management. So we have our new position. I'm super excited and I am going to be adding $5 next week to waste management. I promise I won't mess up this time. Um, and $5 to something that is already in the portfolio. So whether it be on public, in the comments section on Twitter, I'm gonna try and post some polls of the other five positions or maybe I'll just select the four and leave one that I don't want to add to out. Um, but I would like to add another $5 to a position. So that's what we are going to do. In terms of waste management here, our brand new position in the portfolio, I want to go ahead over to public where this is the poll that was put up for last episode. As you can see, tying here with mcdonald's actually um and adding to the o position which i did do i was supposed to put more money in but i messed up um you could see that waste management was the next highest alongside mcdonald's however waste management got some love here in the comments from carly uh, she said waste management is another top five in the portfolio she's not too big on the other two kenny here voted for o now, as I said, I did add to O, not as much as I would have liked to, but the ad was in there. Another one for O, which again, I did add to. Here from uh, Damon Gwynn, we have WM and O are both beautiful options and long favorites, and they are recession proof. And so again, going into the business a little more of waste management, well, it's just that it's waste management. So there's always going to be trash and garbage and hopefully recycling um, an innovation in that space as well to help build a more sustainable world. And in terms of the growth of the company, that's kind of what you're betting on is that they can continue to innovate and be a leader in the waste management space, but also be a staple for the waste um, and the garbage that we do have to dispose of um, where maybe the innovation isn't so um, perfect or, or quick. Uh, to happen. So we're just having to throw things away. Hopefully they can continue to be the leader in that space as well. And let's see. So that kind of wraps up the comments. But again, go ahead and check out my public account. There's going to be another post just like this up later today, where I'd love to hear your guys opinions. 
So hopping back over to the total portfolio, we will hop into our upcoming dividends just to see you know when we might be getting paid out here. So in November, this is uh, November 2nd, as you can see up in the top right is when I'm filming this, we have zero dollars. <laughs> However, they're all zero dollars. So I am assuming here, here we go, four cents in dividends. But December is going to be a big month for us receiving a 40 cents in dividends. And then again, another three cents in January. So this is going to continue to grow. Hopefully these numbers will all be above a dollar here in a couple of weeks. Um, you know, maybe I'll add a little bit more to the portfolio as we continue to go. But I'm super excited for the continued growth of this portfolio. Um, and I hope that you guys were able to take something away from from the waste management overview. Here, that is my personal, or that is the combination of my personal and dividend journey here. Um, but yeah, so leave down in the comments below. Like I said, waste management is the new portfolio or is the new addition to the portfolio. So we will be adding five dollars to that. But I also hope to add five dollars to one of the other positions in here, probably um, between SCHD, Bizrox, Apple, um, and Johnson and Johnson, depending on the growth if, if that stock continues to perform. But there will be a poll, so make sure to go ahead, have your voice heard, vote. Um, and let me know why you're voting the way you're voting. I'd love to hear from you guys. If you have any other stock recommendations or other additions to this uh, dividend journey that you'd like to see, please make sure to comment below. With that being said, hope you guys have a fantastic day.